Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the AI material generator. So we're going to start by adding a part to our scene right here, to our workspace. Make it a cube, it doesn't really matter, this is just going to be able to display our part, our materials here. Then we're going to go to our material generator up here in the top bar and click that. Then it's as simple as just typing in whatever you want to do. So if I say, for example, plastic and press generate, then I just simply wait for the four slots to generate. Sometimes it does four, sometimes it does three. But it just depends on how much it generates. So here we go. We have some interesting materials here. This one's cool. This one's cool as well, but I like this one here. It looks like chunks of plastic. So now I'm going to go over this stuff. So we can change the studs per tile to make it look less or higher, like that, to change the size. Then if you click this organic material, the option here, it does an overlay. So it overlays it with some transparency to give it a more organic look. But we don't we don't need that for this one. Or actually, we'll keep it, because why not? Then you can change the material, the name of it here. So if we change this to uh, plastic shards, like that, then we can then set the base material. So we want to set it to plastic. So we're going to scroll down to where we can see plastic right here, and just select that and press save and apply variant. It's as simple as that. You can always find your material variants here in material service over here. You can find plastic shards. So if you want to add to a different part, add a part to your scene, scale it up. Well, actually, I'll show you how to do it without the material generator doing it. So we add a part, scale it to a certain size. Then we're going to see it's already set to plastic. So we go to this material variant section and select plastic shards. Alternatively, we can go to our material manager scroll down to plastic and select the plastic shards material here so that's the basics of loading your material onto a part so next we're going to do a little bit of prompt design so if we close this here we can see we can create another one so if we do something like stone wall and generate that you'll see it will give you a stone wall texture but if we do something like gray stone wall with green vines growing over it, press generate, we'll see that it will give us something a little bit different. Okay, so let's take a look at these ones on, the, on a, two different parts. Okay, we have two here. On one of them, we'll get the best of these ones, so I think that one looks the best. We can scale it down a little bit, like that. This would not look good as organic, in my opinion, because it, it's not supposed to be organic, so you want to keep it how it is. You could do this if you wanted to, but I'm, I'm not going to. So we can just say Save and Apply Variant. It's already named that, so we'll just click Save and Save and Apply. Right there. First, we, all right, we have to select this, so we'll go down and select probably slate. Right here. Save and apply variant. Now, if we go over to this one, we can look at what some of these materials. So we have some interesting patterns here. Let's put this down a bit. So you can see that this, the, the nice thing about this generator is it's always designed to tile. So they will always match wherever. The, they'll never be offset, but you can st still get to see that tiling if you make it too large. That's what the organics for. See, it stops the it from looking overly um, repetitive. So we have a few different ones here, so you can see the difference here. I like this one, and yes, I'm going to keep it organic and scale it up a bit. So see, we can see the difference between these two. Oh, let's save and apply the variant. Let's set it to, uh, which one do we do? There we go. Let's set it to slate down here as well. And save it. We'll make this a little bit bigger. 
Oh, it's not. Okay, save and apply variant. Now, you see that when you use more specific prompts, you get more specific results. This is the difference between just stone wall and gray stone wall with green vines on it. We get a more desired result when we get the one we want, when we use more complicated prompts. But don't do anything like extremely complicated or specific, otherwise you won't be able to understand. But yep, those are the basics of the material generator. I hope you have fun with that. See you around.